Sodas and other sweet soft drinks get a lot of flack these days for all the calories they contain. But if this work pans out, we may be using them to run our cell phones and other gadgets. The folks at CFD Research Corporation uploaded their idea to Planet Forward. Hello, my name is Jenny Ulyanova. We're developing and demonstrating the biobattery, which is essentially an enzyme-catalyzed fuel cell running on readily available biofuels such as glucose and sucrose. That's good. So we went to Huntsville, Alabama to check out the lab. There we have the display which is totally powered by sports drink. In this case, Gatorade, but it works with other commonly available drinks. Samir Singhal of CFD Research says it's a testament to the power of sugar. This one sugar packet has as much energy as uh, six AA batteries. So, you know, here on the table, we've got about 13 packets of sugar. That has as much energy as four pounds of AA batteries, 72 AA batteries. The team's approach uses enzymes as a catalyst to convert fuels, like sugar, into electrical energy. The biggest advantage of this technology is that it's a fuel cell and not really a battery. So you can recharge the device simply by refilling it with um, the fuel, with Gatorade or sugar water, for instance. Researchers at the lab, housed at the Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology, see this as a game changer, promising big advantages in terms of cost, weight, and the environment. The same device can work with um, alcohol or sugar, giving you a fuel-flexible solution. There's also the potential for flexible shapes. You don't have a lot of the safety concerns you do with lithium-ion batteries of flammability and toxicity, so you don't have to have a lot of packaging material around the battery. Bio batteries could be especially useful after, say, a natural disaster when the grid is down. In theory, sugar packs way more of a punch than a standard battery. Experts say the trick is harnessing that potential. Success would open up new possibilities. Imagine a bio battery running off the sugar in your blood. Research on insects in collaboration with scientists at Cal Berkeley is heading in that direction. The goal is a better way to power implantable medical devices. So for instance, you can power a pacemaker off the sugar in your bloodstream. And again, that sugar, as you eat, that sugar is already replenished. So you've got an infinite supply of sugar for your power source. And then your pacemaker can, uh, can last forever. So bio batteries powered by sugar, moving the planet forward in a way that's lighter, cheaper, cleaner, and more effective.